Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm doing a product review for La Cura lipstick. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, when you did that La Cura haul yesterday, there were no lipsticks. Well, that's because I went to two stores yesterday. Um, and by the way, a couple people in the comment section yesterday told me it's all Aldi, not Aldi. Yeah. So... I guess I was saying it wrong, but I figured if it was A-L-D-I, it would be Aldi, because there's only one L, but I guess you guys know better than I do, so it's Aldi. So I went to two Aldi stores yesterday, and I found the lipsticks at one of them. Unfortunately, they only had two shades, but of course I snatched them both up, and I am wearing 301 Red Velvet on my lips right now. And I'll show you both lipsticks in a second. But I just wanted to let you know that I just read this morning, and I wish I had known this yesterday, but when I was reading reviews about all kinds of La Cura lipsticks on uh, Makeup Alley, somebody was saying that the reason why all the makeup is marked down to 99 cents is because they are going to discontinue it in the United States. Now, I certainly hope that is not true. But I can't imagine why they would lie about something like that. So I'm going to take that as fact until I hear or see differently. And um, I think when I continue to look for the rest of the products in this line, I might be buying some backups for myself and probably for contests and giveaways so that anybody that can't find it or lives in a country that doesn't have Aldi, um, you know, they might enjoy winning some stuff from this brand because everything I have tried so far, I really love it. Um, okay, so on to the product review. So everything makeup-wise for Lacura is 99 cents right now. I guess it wasn't at one time, but these are new things for me, so I didn't realize that they weren't always 99 cents. But yeah, I got two of the lipsticks yesterday. I went to two Aldi's, and one that I went to had no makeup whatsoever. So that was a total waste. But I'm going to try to go to some more to get the rest of the products in the line. But the And I wanted to wait and have all the lipstick shades to show you when I did the review, but I realize now that that may never happen. I may never find the rest of the lipstick shades. So I thought, all right, I'll just go ahead and do the review with the two shades that I do have. So I'm wearing number 301 right now, and they don't put the colors on the tube. They only put it on the box that it comes in. So this is the box that it comes in, and it's sealed when you get it, so nobody can swatch it or use it on you. But 301 Red Velvet is what I'm wearing. And I love the packaging on their products. This is similar to the eyeshadow palettes. It's a silver metallic mirrored packaging. And it looks like a bullet. And there's the lipstick. And I am wearing this on my lips. And sure, I'll swatch it. And there's the color. Now... As you know, I do wear red lipstick from time to time, but there's something there's something unique and unusual about this color. I don't think I have anything like it. It's perfect for me. Love it, love it. And let me show you the other one. The other one is number 402, and it's called Deep Red. That's what it looks like. And I'll swatch it that one. And it's this one on this side here. And I I like both of these. I've worn both of them. The formula on these is very moisturizing, but um you're going to need a um, lip liner with these. 
If you're not a lip liner person, no problem, you can do it without the lip liner, but it would be easier with one. I'm not wearing a lip liner today because, believe it or not, I have all these lip liners and not one single one that I have is anything like this color lipstick. So this isn't like a straight up plain true red. It's got like other hues to it or the only lip liners that I have that are red are just like basic red like like this color red and this color red these are my two red lip liners and these lipsticks are nothing like this shade of red and I, I love them so I'm gonna have to be on the hunt now for a lip liner that will look good with these lipsticks um, so the formula is moisturizing but as with any lipstick you're going to want to moisturize your lips first because lipstick can be drying and if you try to apply these on dry unmoisturized lips you're going to end up with a big mess. I did that sort of by accident yesterday. Um, after dinner I brushed my teeth and then I wanted to put my new lipstick back on because I loved it and I forgot to moisturize my lips first and it was just a big mess. I mean I had to wipe it all off and moisturize my lips and then put it on and um, so yeah make sure that your lips are moisturized but uh, what else could I tell you about these um, staying power they stay wonderful until you have something to drink or something to eat it's just you know gonna be with you until you either take it off or eat or drink something so they've got really good staying power, really good pigmentation. Um, I guess that's about it. If there's anything that I forgot, because I feel like there should be more information, but if there's anything that I forgot and you have a question, just leave it in the comment section. But yeah, oh, oh I know what the other thing was that I wanted to tell you guys. Smell. All the Lacura products have a pretty strong smell to them and I know that can be off-putting with a lot of people um, it doesn't bother me because to me it isn't a bad smell it's just some kind of uh, I can't even really identify it but they all their makeup does have a smell to it um, so yeah some people hate that it, it doesn't bother me as long as it isn't a bad smell it doesn't bother me and to me this isn't a bad smell so that was the other thing that I wanted to tell you Okay, so everything that I'm wearing will be in the description box for makeup, clothing, jewelry, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.